As a student and future nurse, you will be relying on your research skills throughout your time here at Marquette and in your career. By the end of this video, you will be able to explain why there are so many nursing databases to choose from. You will also be able to identify at least three nursing databases. Before we jump in, let's talk about how important the research skills you will be learning are to your career after graduation. Why do practicing nurses need to do research too? Healthcare is an ever-changing field. What was cutting-edge treatment last year may not still be the best way to treat a patient. New drugs, treatments, and models of care come out all the time. Patients deserve the best and most evidence-based care, and to provide that, we need to know how to find the research. That is true whether you are a student or a nurse who has been on a unit for 25 years. Today we are going to look at common nursing research tools like CINAHL, PubMed, PsycInfo, Cochrane, and more to get you familiar with their names and how they can help you. This might sound like a lot. Why are there so many, and do you really have to search all of them? First, let's talk about why there are so many choices. Let's imagine you want to watch a movie or TV show on your tablet. How do you decide which streaming platform to use? Well, Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon all have different TV shows and movies available. You might have to use all of them to watch everything on your binge list. It's the same with research databases. Some contain journals that others don't contain, and some are better than others at covering specific topics. Secondly, you don't have to remember all this today. You may need to make use of all these resources during your time at Marquette, but you don't have to learn them all at once. Feel better? Okay, let's dip our toes into the nursing research pool. Our first stop is CINAHL, which stands for Cumulated Index to Nursing and Allied Health Literature. CINAHL is a database of articles and research from nursing and other health disciplines. For most nursing topics, including interventions, patient care, nursing theory, and models of care, CINAHL will likely have some articles to get you started. It includes hundreds of nursing and medicine journals and tens of thousands of articles, studies, and other types of research, such as dissertations. When starting research on a topic related to nursing, CINAHL is a good first place to start. PubMed, a free database from the National Library of Medicine in Bethesda, Maryland, is the largest biomedical database in the world, with over 37 million citations, mostly journal articles. It focuses on biomedicine, with some nursing coverage and overlap with CINAHL. It's a great complement to CINAHL, with each database covering unique literature that the other does not cover. JBI includes high-level nursing evidence and research. Included is information on best practices for patient care, systematic reviews, which are a type of high-quality research, effectiveness of nursing interventions, procedures, patient handouts, and more. The Cochrane Library, also known as Cochrane, includes a database of systematic reviews, which again is a type of high-level research that aims to minimize bias when interpreting the results of research, such as clinical trials. You might remember we just talked about JBI, another source for systematic reviews. You will come to learn more about systematic reviews and other types of research studies and how they can be used in making an evidence-based decision when caring for patients. Cochrane is from the UK and might use British English rather than American English spellings, like pediatric instead of pediatric, or celiac instead of celiac. PsycInfo is a useful database for behavioral, mental health, neuroscience, and social sciences research. It includes research articles, books and book chapters, and dissertations. It is a helpful companion to CINAHL and PubMed if you are researching neurological disorders, anything related to mental health, patients and families coping with disease, 
or research on specific psychological tests or instruments like the fibromyalgia impact questionnaire or the clock draw test. Google Scholar is another tool that can help you find additional sources after you have started your research. For example, let's say we found an article in CINAHL about neonatal intensive care unit practices in the golden hour, that is, the first 60 minutes of life. You can copy the title from CINAHL, paste it into Google Scholar, and find related articles and research. Click the Cited By link to see who else has cited this research article. Depending on the type of clinical or research question you have, there might be other databases and resources that are a better fit. Looking at rehab for patients who have undergone a shoulder procedure? Sport Discus, which indexes literature in sports medicine, exercise physiology, and related topics might be a good choice. By now you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed with all the resources at your disposal. Getting to know one resource at a time works well to start. If you haven't used any of these databases yet, CINAHL should work well as a starting point for your next paper or project. For most of the research and clinical questions you might have, there will be articles in CINAHL to get you started. Today we took a high-level view of nursing research and some of the research databases you have at Marquette to assist you. If you have any questions, please ask us. You can chat with a librarian 24-7, email us, or schedule an appointment to meet with a librarian in person or virtually to help with your research needs. We look forward to hearing from you. Until then, happy researching!